In lesson nine, we talked about writing large numbers in scientific notation and then being able to convert them back into standard notation. Um, today's lesson is going to deal with mainly dealing with really small numbers like this one and putting it into scientific notation. Let's go ahead and learn how to do that today. Um, go ahead and circle all of your non-zero numbers and then write those out. Now, the zero that's in between the three and the five, that just got caught and came along for the ride. Always put a decimal after your first non-zero number and write times 10 after that. Now, uh, see where your decimal is. I'm going to go to a different color here. Here's how, where my decimal was originally. And we need it to go right after the three, okay? Because we put it right here. Count up how many places that is. One, two, three, four. Five. Don't stop in front of the three. We need it behind it. So five places. The catch is it needs to be a negative five. And I'll go into that a little bit more in just a bit. But let's get through the rest of the notes here. Um, if you have a number that's presented to you in scientific notation and suddenly you see that um, of all things they have a negative exponent sitting right there. What that's trying to tell you is, is that this is not a large number. This is a small number, kind of like what you see sitting above you here. And so instead of moving your decimal three places to the right, making it 2003.5, you would move it three places to the left. So let's come over here and we'll write out that stem number, the front number there, 20035. And again, our decimal was sitting right here behind the 2. And because it's a negative exponent, we're still going to move it three places, but we'll move it three to the left. One, two, three. Um, as soon as you move it past the 2, that takes up one of your movement spots there. And then you're going to have to add in two more zeros. And then put your decimal point right here. And... You know, it's always good to go ahead and put a zero in front of that decimal point if nothing's there. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to see the decimal point. So that's how we write small numbers in scientific notation. That's also how we convert uh, small numbers written in scientific notation back to standard notation. Now, what I'm about to go over here is not required in your notes, but it might be useful to kind of understand what's happening here. especially now that I've got it set up the way uh, that I want to, to show you this. We'll take a look at two numbers that are presented in standard notation, and we'll want to turn them into scientific notation. Um, you go ahead and you circle all of your non-zero numbers again. Write it out. Put the decimal after the first number, and go ahead and write times 10. We can do the same thing for this over here. Circle all your non-zero numbers, write it out, put the decimal after your first non-zero number, and write times 10. Now, you can also go ahead and count up uh, the places that you'd have to move the decimal. So one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna write a little four there so we remember. And we'll go ahead and we'll count up where we have to move this decimal to. Let me get that in blue also, I guess. And we go right here. So 3, 6, 7, 8. So I'll write 8 there just so we remember it. Now, the catch is this. If you have a really small number that's less than 1, you need to use negative exponents. You'll still use the number of spaces counting over to see what that exponent is, but it will be always a negative exponent. So even though this is four spaces, because this whole number is less than one, we're going to use negative four. And again, this negative exponent does not mean that this is a negative number. And in our first chapter, um, go back and look at lesson seven, negative exponents does not mean that the number is negative. It, it does not mean that at all. It just is talking about small numbers. Now, for this one, because this is a large number and it's definitely bigger than one, we're going to make this a positive exponent. And so that's the best thing I can think to tell you. Okay. Now, when we come down here and we start looking at having scientific notation uh, given to us and they say, hey, can you 
flip this over to standard notation, go ahead and work it out the same way. Write out your, your numbers right here. And so here's the 7.6. We'll write out the 7.6 right here. And now you have a judgment about do you go left or right. Um, the thing I think about is, is that if you see a negative sign, it's already on the left side of the exponent. And so that's saying go left. So that's what we're going to do. And that will also make sure that our final number is less than 1. And so it, it, it makes sense there. Um, here's our decimal where it was originally because, again, it was right behind the 1. We moved it over one spot there, and then I need four more zeros in front of it before I can put my decimal. And now I'm just actually going to, whoops, I'm going to try uh, to move these over just a little bit more. There we go. Now, for this one, it's a positive exponent. There's not a negative sign on the left side of that, so I'm not going left. I'm going to go right this time. And I'll, I'll put an area here to show that we'd be moving our decimal left there. But we're going to go right six spots, so we move it over once. And then we've got five more zeros that we would need to add on. And it would have come 7,600,000. So here's the, the recap of working with... Um, negative exponents or scientific notation, uh, working with really small numbers, basically it's this. If you have to turn it into scientific notation, go ahead, capture your non-zero numbers, set it up like you always have, but when you count how many places you have to move the decimal, remember if it's a small number, we need to make it a negative decimal. Um, if we're going from scientific notation of a small number and you see it has a negative exponent, remember when you go to move this decimal, that was right behind the two, try to use that negative sign as a, a pointer of, hey, move it over to the left three times. It's on the left side of the exponent. Or just remember that this is saying that the final number has to be less than one, and, well, this is definitely less than one.